I'm going to go over the uh, Fibonacci sequence. Um, I've got some notes that I've already built up for this uh, subject. Uh, in some cases, I'll be looking at the notes. And in some cases, I will be uh, writing things anew. So, uh, the Fibonacci sequence uh, is attributed to an Italian ma mathematician from the 1200s. Uh, even though it's been thought, and reasonably so, that it was in use before, before he uh, came up with it. Or it was named after him. And it goes like this. Uh, whatever term in the sequence you have is equal to the sum of the two previous numbers. And these are all integers. Well, these are, uh, well, actually, natural numbers. Uh, you could say it this way. They're all, every, every member of the sequence is a natural number. Now, um, let me add another page. Uh, I will... When I talk about this sequence, I will sometimes say sequence or series interchangeably. And when I do, technically it is not correct uh, because the sequence is the sequence itself. Uh, but, sorry, that, that is not correct. Um, when I say series, I should really be very careful to mean that the uh, Fibonacci sequence is being summed in a series. Sometimes I'll use series and sequence interchangeably. That's just my own uh, bad use of terminology. But really, really, uh, it should be understood if I'm talking about the terms in the sequence. Even if I call them series, they're really the sequence. And only when I sum them will they be the series. There's also a generating function for the uh, Fibonacci sequence. Now, uh, there are a couple of things that I want to talk about when it comes to the Fibonacci sequence. Um, it's, it's gotten a lot of popular work on YouTube. There are many good videos. Uh, the historical way to describe the series is about the reproduction of rabbits. Uh, but it's also been talked about how seashells, the chambers without, within, without, within seashells, spiral out in a way that fits the Fibonacci sequence. The number of sunflower seeds fits the Fibonacci sequence, and also the number of petals, and also the way uh, the way plants uh, lay down their their seeds. So, uh, but here we're really talking about the the sequence itself. Uh, so, I mean, so for example, if we talk about uh, a few of the terms of the sequence. Uh, Typically, S of 0 is 0. Most of the time, nobody talks about this term. So really, when you see the sequence, people started off at 1. So effectively, these are like the two rabbits. And then uh, F3 is the sum of those two. Then F4 is the sum of these two, which is 3. I should erase that. That's sloppy. Um, and then F5 is 5, right? You're summing these two. Then F6 is 8. And so on. Now, one interesting thing to do with the Fibonacci sequence is to play with the concept of the, uh, the perfect rectangle, which is an architectural theme. And so um, the formula is goes like this you take uh, the sides of the rectangle and you assume one to be greater than the other you know by by uh, by assumption you can pick one or the other in this case it's a and the uh, the golden ratio is the ratio between the side a and the side b of the rectangle uh, behaves as follows. It's a plus B over A is equal to A over B. Now, uh, generally, a good assumption to start with is to say pick B equals 1, and then this ratio is in term of multiples of one side. Now, when this is done, what you get is, let me start another page, 
All right, so you start with a plus b over a is equal to a over b. Uh, b equals 1, so you're down to a plus 1 over a is equal to a. Uh, then move the a uh, term over, and then move this over to get the equation a squared minus a minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, so then when you solve this equation by the Pythagorean theorem, this is what you get. A is 1 plus or minus, right, uh, minus B. Is B is equal to 1 here, uh, minus 1, I'm sorry. Then uh, minus 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 times A, which is 1, and C, which is minus 1, over 2. And generally, the, the terms that are used is alpha for what is really the positive root, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and beta is 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. So you will see a generating function for the Fibonacci series that looking like this. f of n is equal to 1 over square root of 5 alpha to the m minus beta to the n. Now this, this, this formula, this generating function, uh, is derived with uh, power series, and I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, I'm sorry, I used the wrong generating function is used uh, to generate any term. So for example, if I said f200 is really 1 over square root of 5, this alpha term, and of course I already showed what alpha was, to the 200 minus beta to the 200. Okay, so then one thing that we can have fun with now that we know how the Fibonacci sequence goes is to draw a, uh, a perfect rectangle with the terms. So let's start here and each number will be its own square. So this is the first, the, uh, what I would call the first two rabbits. And if we go in a counterclockwise fashion, uh, forming a spiral, you'll see what we get. So then the two term, right, so we're adding one and one, we get two, will be here. Then the three term is here. Then the five term is here. Then the eight term, it's an eight by eight rectangle, uh, a square, I'm sorry, not a rectangle. Now, you're probably seeing a pattern. So this rectangle has the same ratio as, and I should pick another color, maybe yellow or red. Let's pick red. So this rectangle also has the same ratio. And then this rectangle has the same ratio. Okay, and if we keep uh, building out the rectangle, the next term is 13. So we get out here, this all the way out here, this is the bigger square. And also, one thing that you'll see in the, some of the videos is you start tracing a, uh, a spiral. You can draw a spiral by going from corner to corner of that square. Not going to do a good job here, but now this is really, this is your 8 by 8, and this is your 13. And when you draw this out over larger terms, it does this. All right. So that was a perfect, the, the perfect rectangle drawn with the Fibonacci series sequence. See, I did it again. It's really a sequence uh, terms. Now, another thing that you can do is uh, say uh, there's a, there's, there are many sums, there are many sums of the sequence, uh, infinite sums. So I'll give you one that, I, uh, that I've referenced. It's right in here, and I'm going to write it in another sheet. So it's k from 1 to n, f sub k is equal to f of n plus 2 minus 1. Okay, 
So if let's use an example. So let's start drawing out the terms. Okay, F4 is 3, F5 is 5, F6 is 8, and F7 is 13. How about we do the sum of these four? Okay, so let's start another sheet. So the sum is F of 1 plus F of 2 plus F of 3 plus f of 4, right? And this would be 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is equal to 7. Well, that also equals f of, if we started with n <clears throat> being 4, it should be f of 6, right? Should it be f of 6 minus 1? And we said f of 6 was 8. Sure enough, 8 minus 1 equals 7. <clears throat> Then another thing, another type of formula that you can have fun with when it comes to the Fibonacci series sequence, did it again, is this formula, okay? So I'm gonna write it in another sheet and it goes f of n plus three plus f of n is equal to two times f of n plus two. Right, and so let's just pick one value. Let's just say that let's do a simple one. So we had here that uh, where did we have that? Let me see where where was the last time that I did? Yeah, so I did an, I did a couple of examples before. Uh, yeah, so if we would say let's just say uh, f of six, okay. That means that n equals 3, okay? f of 6 plus f of 3 is equal to 2 times f of 5, or the Fibonacci term 5. Okay, let's go, let's work this out again. So it was 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 8. So what do we have here? We have 8 plus 2 is equal to 2 times 5. Indeed, it is 10. Okay, so what another thing we can do is actually prove that this formula works. I mean, we just solved an example. So we start off with f, plus n of f, f of n plus 3 plus f of n is equal to 2 times times f of n plus 2, and we know that f of n plus 3 is equal to the previous two terms, right? So we substitute it in here, and what do we get? We get f of 1, f of n plus 1, and f of n plus 2, and that equals 2 times f of n plus 2. We subtract this term, and what do we get? We get the usual formula for the Fibonacci sequence. <laughs> Finally, I think I said it right.